Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel that is uh, Onyango Law TV. I hope this video finds you in a great state of mind or in a great shape. Yesterday, Deep William Ruto and the Brigade led their campaign to Kirinyaka County. And one thing that was very conspicuous or one thing that married their, their conversation at, the, at that rally was a uh, was them castigating Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. And uh, for the first time yesterday, D.P. William Ruto told Uhuru Mege Kenyatta off not to impose state project that is uh, Raila Molodinga onto the people of Kenya. This was very conspicuous as uh, the brigade of the D.P. Ruto were really castigating Uhuru Mege Kenyatta that uh, is trying to impose Raila Molodinga to the people of Kenya. But I have this question for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have this scenario. If today, D.P. William Ruto and uh, His Excellency Uhuru Mege Kenyatta were not having their differences, whom do you think today would have been the state project? Whom do you think would have been the state project and another question is that uh, why do dp william ruto like to pull this card of raila molodinga being a state project only while in central counties why is he is he pulling this card mostly when he's in central kenya i need to know your thoughts about this but i can't know your thought if you don't comment just go into the comment section and just write down your thought about this. I have uh, this video of uh, the, the Deep Ruto and the Brigade really castigating Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. And uh, they are viciously very, very angered with Uhuru Mege, Mege Kenyatta imposing Raila as a state project. Have a look at this video, then we proceed with our today's punchline. Ruto accused the president of trying to impose Raila on the electorate. Francis Gashuri reports on the no-holds-barred tackles that may have opened a new political war front. Dinga. Lakini kwa heshima kubwa, nataka ni muulize rafiki yangu rais, tafadhali raisi wetu, iyo project ya kitenda wili haiwezekani. Project ya kitenda wili, no. Mwaisimi wa Rais Kenyatta, hata ukitumia DCI, hata ukitumia KWS, hata ukitumia KRA, hata ukitumia Kenya Forest Service, since atutapigia Raila Odinga Kura. Ruto, who since his fallout with the president, has been addressing him indirectly or through MPs allied to him, pulling no punches this time on the upcoming State House race. We are telling our good friend, the president of Kenya, please spare us the Kitendawili experiment. Spare us the Kitendawili project. Odinga has dismissed claims that he is President Kenyatta's political project. Raila Odinga, you have the definition of a serious political project. Now, Kenya, Kupitia Katiba, ya 2010, they will have their constitutional right to elect their next president without coercion and intimidation. Lakini ndugu yangu huru ukishukulika na mambo ya project ya Raila itakuaribia jina. Itaharibu legacy yako umepita kura kama rais marapili utatoka kama umeanguka na project. Lakini tunataka upewe heshima by say simply wacha hawa wanaume wangengane. Wacha waingie kwa kiwanja mwenye wananchi wataamua wamuele. Lakini siwe ni wewe unakuja hapa kujaribu kutuuzia Raila Odinga. With President Kenyatta expected to tour the Mount Kenya region and apparently spill the beans on what triggered his fallout with Ruto, the UDA team was daring him. Mweshimua Raisu umesema utakuja kwa mulima kuuza Raila Odinga na kusema ile kitu mulikosania na Ruto. Tume kukaribisha, tuna kugoja hapa kwa ground. Tuna kugoja na usikae sana. Tuko na haja na wewe Raisu. 
ukikuja tukutueleza hiyo maneno kuja pia utuambie sisi watu wa mlima Kenya tulikukosea wapi tulikupea kura mingi lakini DCI kisika watu tunaona ni watu wa mlima Kenya kama ni KRA inafuata watu tunaona ni watu wa mlima Kenya with the countdown to August presidential race the Kenya Kwanza Alliance was bullish over a clean sweep if our objective is to improve the economy of this country then we must come together ili tumalize uchaguzi wa mwezi tisa, tarehe tisa, mwezi wa nane, we finish it in round one because the country cannot afford to go into a runoff people are broke Kenya kwanza kazi ni kazi bottom up uchumi bora pesa mfukoni kura kwa ruto you have watched how the deep ruto and the brigade are really on to the nerves they are really angered by the fact that uh ex excellency huru megai kenyatta is supporting raila amolo odinga but before we proceed with our further analysis if this is the first time you're bumping onto this video just take your few one or two seconds and click the subscribe button or the notification bell this is the only way that you can help me build this channel i am on my way to 500 subscribers please just click the subscribe button and the, and the notification bell so that any moment i upload a video you can get notified for the subscribers i'm really grateful for your support and uh you guys are really good uh let me give this shout out to john williams john williams has been uh, engaging me more frequently john williams i really appreciate your support let's proceed what does this narrative or this castigation all means politically one this castigation simply means that the frequent rattling about Raila Molo Dinga by the DP Ruto as a state project simply confirms that uh, the Ruto claims that Raila uh, that there is no deep state is just an illusion the deep state is there as you all as you all can remember that uh, DP Ruto has been always stating that there is nothing like a deep state and if there was a deep state he would have already told us that the deep state is there that he is in government and actually there is nothing like deep state this is simply a lie as he know very well that there is deep state in the in the government and deep state matters a lot when it comes to election more so this general election that we are, we are heading to two as you could see the the, the, the brigade and the deep root of talking or giving their 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 statement uh in the podium one thing that was very conspicuous again was the fear there is the, the the deep root and the brigade have got some inner fear that uh cannot be explained but why are they having this fear yeah for the past one week we've been having these rumors that uh uh uhuru mega kenyatta is at long last heading to the mountain just to spill of the beans of what happened between them and the dp ruto and there is some rumors that there are some clergy that were sent to uhuru mega kenyatta not to go to the mountain and do these things that we call the spilling of the of, of the beans of telling kenyans of what happens what happened between them between him and the dp ruto but why are they fearing this one one i have a feeling that they are fearing they are fearing uh uhuru mega kenyatta not spilling off the beans for they will lose and how will they lose one the piruto right now is a darling to the to the mount kenya and as you all know uhuru mega kenyatta is supporting raila mulodinga and yet he has not done any campaign that is wasteful to Raila Mulodinga and is about to do those campaigns and the and the place that uh Uhuru Mega Kenyatta is going to start campaigning for Raila Mulodinga is the central region definitely you know when Uhuru Mega Kenyatta hits the central region i mean the central kenya the narrative might change and the dp ruto i'm i'm not sure ever is ready to cope up with the with the shifting of the of the mount kenya when uhuru mgeja will be uhuru mgeja kenyata will be hitting the mount kenya be rest assured that uh, the ground is going to shift even if dp ruto will be still leading in the central region 
but mark this mark this one and you can take it to the bank the ground is going to shift that is a must then the third point is a uh, deep ruto is trying to pull an emotional card and if there is one politician that knows how to engage a crowd emotionally then give it to dp william ruto this is most likely why he, he likes pulling off this card of uh, Raila being a state project while in Mount Kenya region. He simply knows that uh, he himself supported Uhuru for the 10 years and the agreement was uh, Uhuru will support him after those 10 years. And he's only trying to remind the central guys that uh, of, of the deal that they had with uh, Uhuru Mekai Kenyatta. But uh, as you all know, this is politics and uh, it's all about interest and interest keep on changing. If it's a matter of supporting people, we've been supporting people all the way since 1964. You can recall from the, you can, you can recall from the first person to support another, another tribe and help the tribe claim the position of presidency. It was, it was actually Luos. Uh, Deep Ogingo, Ogingo Dinga was the first person to support uh, uh kenyatta kenyatta senior and uh, kenyatta senior became the president then we had uh raila supported mwai kibaki but all these changed the interest the the interest of the the, the guy that good that got the support and the, the one that supported the other really changed so this is politics and uh things are most likely to change Guys, I want to appreciate your time and I'm really grateful for, for it. And I still have just one quick reminder that if you haven't subscribed into this channel, please, I ask for your support. Just click the subscribe button and help me build this channel. Otherwise, have a great day and bye-bye.